Are you dating one of your parents? Ah, what kind of a question is she asking me? Of course I'm not dating one of my parents, you say. But what if you are? Think about this. There's a reason that you keep finding yourself with an emotionally unavailable guy who won't commit. There's a reason you find yourself with a narcissist, someone who only thinks for themselves and their own needs. Logically, there is no way that you would ever be attracted to these types of men if there wasn't something more behind this. And you know what that something more is? It's your parents, your emotionally unavailable dad who you always had to chase after to get his attention, your narcissist mother who controlled you through guilt and shame to keep you enmeshed with her and taking care of her emotional needs at the expense of your own. Now, you know how you grew up so fast? You know how you were always so mature for your age? Even that old soul compliment. All of these happened because on a cellular level, and that's a fancy word for you absorb the subconscious messages from your parents in your very being, you were set up to defy all logic in chasing down men who actually represent one or both of your parents. Creepy, right? But actually so important for you to understand. This is why you can't let go. This is why you keep attracting the men that you do. This is why no amount of therapy seems to help. And it's all because the need to get the love that you never got from your mom or your dad or both is a need that you keep trying to meet through someone who feels like them energetically over and over again. I could talk all day, like I do with my coaching clients, about this relationship between your love life and your parents. It's that big of a thing. But for you, for right now, it's enough to recognize this pattern, to take a closer look at who you're dating, usually more like who you're chasing, and start learning to recognize when this person in front of you is only so attractive to you because they're representing a chance to change your past and rewrite your history to prove that you're finally enough to make your mom or dad love and accept you the way you, that you've always wanted them to. It's not about him. You don't need someone who treats you the way he does. You can stop chasing after anyone and let someone meet you where you are for a change. Now, doesn't that feel better? Now, as for your mom or dad, I'll just let you in on what I've learned about them after years of trying to figure this dynamic out. Don't go down the rabbit hole of blaming them so that you miss out on the opportunity right here in the present to move your life ahead regardless of what they should have done differently. They did the best they could with what they knew at the time. And you? Well, you know more now, too. So what do you think now? Are you dating one of your parents? Or do you see a pattern of this in your dating history? Share your story with us below in the comments. And don't forget to hit the like button as well and subscribe, too. I'll see you soon.